so noun is basically you know a very fundamental uh, unit of part of speech uh, so basically you know so noun is uh, the first thing that we will learn in parts of speech and uh, it it is it means nothing but a word that is used to naming anything a word that is used to naming anything you know while right now it uh, the uh, the the statement might seem a little vague to you but you know as we go ahead and, and understand uh, the various types of noun and you know what word is classified into what kind of a noun you will get a fairly good idea as to you know what we mean when we say that a word that is used to naming anything uh, so there are you know five types of uh, uh, nouns that that you know you can basically classify the first is proper noun which is basically nothing but when you name one thing at a time so one thing at a time is proper noun then you have common noun which is any number of things any number of things after this we have collective noun which is uh, nothing but a group of things a group of things is known as a collective noun and uh, there is another kind of a, of a noun that is material and should not be mixed with, with collective or common noun and it is basically what a thing is made of what a thing is made of is material noun and all these four different types of noun are basically concrete nouns and why we call them concrete nouns is also something that we will understand by the end of this, this video and last is abstract noun that is used to define a quality a state a state of being you know uh, uh, and or uh, any action so quality state or action when you have any of one of these it is known as an abstract noun so let's get started with the first one the proper noun so a proper noun as we last saw is when we name one thing at a time so basically if we were to define proper noun it will be uh, a name for one particular thing a name for one particular thing as distinct from every other right and to understand this let's take a few examples uh, let's let's see we have Raman here so Raman is the name of a person right it's a, a specific person and it cannot be used like Raman cannot be the name of every person it's, it's the name of a specific person or one particular thing which is distinct from every other or if you take the case of, of say the book the Godfather right so it, it's it's a specific book and it is the name of this particular book which is called the godfather or if you take this case of mumbai so mumbai is a city right and not just any city but a specific city and or or if you take say germany right so germany is a specific country so you know all these words sort of fit the criteria where uh, this name either Raman or the Godfather Mumbai or Germany is used for one particular thing which is distinct from every other right so basically proper means own so thus a proper name is its own name right and it cannot be given to more than one thing at a time at a time and this is known as a proper noun right the next type of noun that we have here is common noun so common noun is uh, is basically no one thing in particular you know so basically uh, whereas in the last case of a proper noun we saw in it it is basically a name for one particular thing so here it's no no one thing in particular particular right so that's a common noun and it, it, it is basically you know to uh, it can be given to any number of things of the same kind so common noun can be used for any number of things of the same kind now if we 
use the word man right so raman can be a man you know mohan can be a man james can be a man and so this word here man which is not which is like used for no one thing in particular but can be used for you know a number of things of the same kind is basically common noun so man word here is the common noun right so you can if, now if you take the uh, you know example of a book it's a common noun because you can you know refer to any any kind of a book with any title can be you know put under the classification of a book or a country like or or, or a city you know so words like this man book country city is basically a common noun right so basically common means uh, uh, you know shared by several you know so basically several things of the same kind uh, so and and you know so ba basically lot, there, there is a special case where sometimes a proper noun becomes a common noun and uh, you know one example that i can give you right now is say if you if you were to uh, name the the pharaohs of egypt right so basically uh, i mean uh, the, the the pharaohs is uh, technically should be uh, should be used as a uh, as a proper noun but it is used as a common noun to denote any pharaoh of egypt or you know in the case of uh, say you want to say he is the newton of this century right so basic but newton is 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 the name of uh, a famous scientist and here in this case it is used for a person to you know sh show that he is is basically comparable uh, uh, to 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 newton and and is the is called as the newton of this century so in that case uh, you know proper noun becomes a common noun right and uh, so let's let's go to the next kind of noun that we have here is a collective noun so collective noun is a name for a group of similar individuals the group being one complete whole a name of i'm sorry a name for a group of similar individuals the group being one complete whole right so that that's important and and to you know to take the case uh, uh, so let's say you know there are many sheep in a field many sheep in a field now the word sheep here is basically a common noun can be you know used to determine uh, uh, but if we were writing one flock of sheep right so the word flock here is is what is known as the collective noun and the sheep word is the common noun and so flock is basically saying that there is a group of sheep you know and and, and the group is being called as one complete whole Right, so all the sheep in that particular group are basically denoted by saying that there is one flock of sheep, right? So and and you know so uh, apart from the, there, there is also a, a, a type of a possibility where a collective noun may either be a common or a proper noun. So for example, the, the term flock may stand for different flocks, but let's say the word parliament, you know, can stand for only one body. So in that case. Uh, 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 in case of a parliament a proper noun becomes a collective noun okay then in uh, there's also this uh, you must not you, you know mix up uh, collective noun with noun of multitude so let me give you an example a jury has 12 people right so the word jury here is my collective noun but if i were to use uh, uh, you know so basically i'm using the word jury to define all 12 people that are in it right but if i had a sentence like uh, you, you know let, let, let's use this sentence uh, the jury were divided in opinion so in this case you will see that the word jury 
is not being used for you know the the uh, entire collective group and 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 hence in this case it it is known as a noun of multitude noun of multitude so how do you you know differentiate between a whether it's a collective noun or noun of multitude you will see that in this sentence here a jury has the so jury is being basically called as singular right and and in this case the jury is basically plural you know so uh, the the it, like the word were is the word were is used to define jury and here it's it's a singular so in this case when it's a singular it's a collective noun but when not it's a noun of multitude right so you must be very very careful uh, when 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 you uh, sort of see a sentence and you are asked whether it's a collective noun or not right all right so the next uh, one that we have here is material noun so material noun is is a name given to uh, is, is a name given to you know some particular kind of matter or substance some particular kind of matter or substance all right so so let's take the word sheep that we had uh, used uh, last time uh, so it says sheep is basically a common noun right but if we were to use the meat that is derived from sheep and and this is the flesh of of a sheep it's it's called mutton right so mutton is a material noun so it's basically some particular kind of matter or substance which is so uh, you know mutton is basically the flesh of sheep and it's a material noun right so the same word can be sometimes used as material noun or common common noun so if it if you say a sentence like this uh, you know fish live in water or we have another sentence where we say fish is a good food item right so in this case fish here is a common noun but here fish that is being denoted as a food item is basically material noun so you know you can basically use this uh, to differentiate between uh, uh, the same word when it when it whether it can be used as a common noun or a material noun and finally we have the abstract noun which is not a concrete noun and uh, so it and it's it's basically used to uh, you know denote some uh, some some quality uh, the state or action right so quality can we say a person is is intelligent you know or uh, someone is uh, uh, clever so words like this is is it's a quality of a, of of a human being right so it's it's an abstract noun this word here state state you know of of being so for example uh, poverty is a state of being right so poverty is a is a is a is a it's an abstract noun action can be anything uh, crying can crying can cry can be an can action here cry laughter can be an action you know uh, choice can be an action you know to choose choice so words like these are are all abstract nouns you know so uh, i mean so the first four kind of words kind kinds of nouns that we had proper common collective and material you know they all all sort of describe uh, things that are you know that are, that relate to objects of sense uh, and basically things that can be seen or touched or heard or smelt or tasted so on and all these nouns are called concrete nouns but an abstract noun relates to quality states etc but cannot be seen or touched so cannot be seen touched etc because you you cannot you know touch intelligence or intelligent or clever or poverty or you you know so you cannot see them it it's it's a, it's a sense of being or you know so it, or it's a quality or it's an action and hence these are known as as abstract nouns and uh, you know so so for example if you take the fact that you know stone is hard 
or or you know you can say that steel is hard or you can say that uh, you know wood is hard and and so we can therefore speak of hardness as as you know as a separate identity apart from stone or or or, or steel or uh, wood or any kind of object having the same quality so it's an abstract noun hardness is an abstract noun right so in the next lessons what we will do is we'll delve deeper into abstract nouns try to understand how abstract nouns uh, are derived and see a few other uh, you know properties of of nouns such as gender etc uh, i hope you had you know you were able to understand all the different types of nouns with this lesson